Mati. I. Beardo. Hi there. Uh, hi, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> sorry, bear with me, please. Uh, bear with me while I get these slides in order here. Uh, let's see. Not this one. No. Nope. No. No. No, 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 not that one, no. Why don't these slides get in here? Nope, nope, no, wait, go back to, no, not that one, no. That was it, forward. You know what? You know what, this one's fine, I can describe most of it anyway. Well, let me, let me just, okay, okay. Now I'm re-downloading the presentation. I can uh, just start without the deck, sorry. So, welcome everyone. Uh, let's just get straight to it. I'm uh, Carl D. Hassen, Dr. Carl D. Hassen, and uh, I've been practicing for 15 years. I'm here today just to tell you a little bit about my experiences in the field and uh, to discuss some emerging technologies and techniques. So, cosmetic cat surgery. It's not the sexiest field of veterinary science. That would be horse gender reassignment or wolf splicing. There's a lot of expansion there with the wolves, coyotes. There's even a guy, I think, in Germany splicing ocelots, which I don't think are in the dog family. But Still, I've had a great run with cats. They're uh, interesting little creatures, really. They're completely full of all kinds of bowels. They've got these little lungs. There's an organ in the cat's stomach which is made up of two tiny hinged bones. It operates like a little Pac-Man to uh, chomp up any whole food the cats swallow. Cats don't sweat. They store urine in a tube-shaped bladder away from their body. And it's actually out toward the end of their tails where it can cool off. Then they uh, spray it from their tail hole like a shower all to themselves. That's why you never pull cats' tails. Of course, uh, everybody knows the genitals of male cats are colored in shape just like human penises. That's why cats are often referred to as man's mimic. Anyway, uh, a lot of stories about you know, men, women, husbands whose wives were, you know, thought that they had sex with the cat accidentally and they just didn't even know. So that's a whole nother... Where was I? Oh yeah. So... Cosmetic surgery for cats. Isn't that trite, Dr. DeHassen? That's what I'm sure you guys are thinking. So why would you waste your time catering to the vanity of cats and the cat owners and that whole thing? Well, you know, aren't there jungles full of sick animals who really need help? You know, that AIDS giraffe, uh, other weird stuff. Yeah, it is true. I do my fair share of feline eyelash extending, tucking that poochy little tummy part a lot of cats have. Adding, you know, extra long teeth to make them look like saber-toothed tigers, etc. And uh, it pays very well. But there's a lot more to it than just uh, cat vanity. Uh, I was in med school, second year, and my advisor suggested uh, to me that I take an intro to feline reconstruction class. Honestly, the only reason I signed up was because... Uh, class met on Tuesdays and Thursdays, which meant that I could take long weekends. I was dating a girl at the time in Tahoe, and I used to try to get out there whenever I could. Beautiful town, especially in the winter. Skiing, obviously, is world class. In retrospect, it was probably was a mistake. The relationship was really, really unhealthy. Whatever. In the end, it was for the best. So, in the class, one of the assignments was to study the cat's life cycle. I had this great female tabby named Slax, and I was supposed to mate her with my lab partner's Tom named Sesame. <laughs> well, we tried and tried, but things were just not clicking with the two of them, and we were at a loss as to what to do. Excuse me. My lab partner used to uh, bring Sesame to issue onto his fingertips, and then I'd hold Slax while he... Uh, 
tried to inseminate her, but it never. I tried to uh, acclimate Slacks to the act using my own member. It was a complete disaster. Slacks was depressed. I was stressed. We were definitely going to fail, and nobody knew what to do. Well, that's when the professor told us the two cats would never mate. They were incompatible. It was a trick assignment. The only real solution was to fit slacks with breast implants to draw Sesame into performing with her. In the end, it worked out great. We, uh, we went a little overboard with the size of the things, but uh, slacks did have her litter. We used the little ones for parts. Actually, that was a little bit unethical, frankly. Well, it wasn't the 40s, but it was the 80s. Where was I? Ah, sorry. Oh, so, other things. You can de-blind a cat by swapping its broken eyes for new ones. You can rearrange the organs in a cat to create a cavity in its undersides. You line that cavity up with fur, and then uh, people who can't hold cats wear them as hats. Did you know there are bald cats? Just on their heads, like a man. We can fix that surgically. Some cats want extra toes. Uh, what else? They go really crazy for catnip. File's done. Oh, look. The new slides are downloaded, so hold on for a second. Let me just catch up. So, well, actually, we're running out of time. Uh, sorry, I'm very sorry. This has been so completely disorganized. I did just want to ask all of you to consider making a donation to Cats Up, which is a uh, group myself and several other prominent surgeons work with. We provide pro bono cosmetic operations to feral and shelter cats who suffer from severe disfigurement. Pretty serious stuff, actually. Really insane. Disgusting. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. I think this ends with a cute one. Uh, oh, nope, sorry. Oh, oh yeah. There. So, uh, thanks everyone for having me today. I uh, hope you enjoyed hearing about my experiences, and I uh, hope that whatever specialty of veterinary you choose can bring you as much satisfaction as I found in mine. Have a great weekend. Thanks.